Since Fibonacci circles have a curvature, it's highly suggested to lock scales. It's the same as Fibonacci spirals and arcs. I've already made series on those Fibonacci tools and you can go check them out for further detail on this setting. All those familiar Fibonacci levels from other tools are included in the Fibonacci circle tool, except in this case the levels take the form of concentric circles. Two points are used to plot the circles. Generally the further they are apart, the larger the circle, and the closer they are, the smaller the circle. Also, this tool might more accurately be called an ellipse tool since it usually doesn't take the form of a perfectly round circle, and will often be some kind of oval shape. Like other Fibonacci tools, the points that make up this Fibonacci circle can be connected by a trend line to better see the relationship between these two points. And you may notice these points are somewhere in between the 1 and 1.618 circles. In fact, they are around the 1.414 circle, similar to the 1.414 Fibonacci extension level. However, this level, or I should say 1.414 circle, usually won't be chosen to be displayed, even though in a way it does form the basis of the other circles. It's just a good fact to know these two points are based around the 1.414 proportion. The position of the two points that revolve close to 1.414 make it a lot easier to line up Fibonacci circles with grids, which will be quite useful in later examples. A key idea behind Fibonacci circles is price will revolve around their influence to some degree. For starters, we can leave these default settings, with the only change being to turn off those background colors, so it's easier to see other things that may be placed on the chart such as annotations, marks, other Fibonacci tools, indicators, or just price itself. 